natural world's going through a tough spell. Nearly 7 billion people are tearing through resources at a rate we would need one and a half planets to sustain. Climate change and water shortage loom large. Huge numbers of animal species are threatened with extinction. That's why ZSL has never been more important for the protection of fascinating and ecologically vital wildlife. And that's why while 2010 was a challenging year, we tackled it like a charging rhino. Recession and cold weather made for a difficult winter, and after cheerfully clearing the snow, staff had to cope with the tragic loss of Yeboa and male gorilla. In London and Whipsnade, there were some brilliant new exhibits and events. The Claw Rainforest Lookout got greener, wetter and livelier after a truly Amazonian makeover. And colourful new exhibitions brightened up the lion terraces, drawing people to learn about majestic big cats and their plight in the wild. It was cause for big celebration, so we invited everyone and drew a whole new audience to the zoo. 23,000 fun-seeking young professionals attended our summer zoo lates. They enjoyed the animals and the champagne. We raised half a million pounds. It was so successful that we'll be partying on eight more nights in 2011. <music> Meanwhile, at Wild Wild Whipsnade, the beasts of Old England returned, with wild boar, lynx, wolverines and moose arriving to remind visitors of a wilder past. Our ever-improving zoos were decorated with awards. Animal Adventure took Biaza Best New Enclosure, while ZSL London Zoo scooped Best Tourism Experience at the Visit London Awards and received a gold award in the Green Tourism Business Scheme. A study carried out at ZSL London Zoo proved what we already knew, that zoos give children a deeper understanding of wildlife. Our education department facilitated this dreaming up ways to engage over 100,000 pupils like resin-coated animal poos and an ambitious live link-up between our rainforest life exhibit and a scientist in the heart of the Amazon. And we continued to provide great days out for children with special needs. 5,000 kids and their carers enjoyed carefully crafted activities and tours on special Children's Day. Our zoos were the focus of a major ITV series. After a year of filming, viewers got a thought-provoking, poignant and honest look behind the scenes at ZSL. Whether you visited or saw them on television, both London and Whipsnade zoos also provided an unforgettable introduction to our wide-reaching conservation work. And this work brought some outstanding achievements in 2010. ZSL was a key player in the campaign to create the world's largest marine protected area around the Chagos Islands in the Indian Ocean. The reserve now protects 220 coral species and over a thousand species of reef fish. Penguinologist Tom Hart and Evelyn Guyette from the birds team undertook an Antarctic voyage. Tom's research aims to develop long-term strategies for penguin protection. ZSL scientists made the disturbing discovery that over five tonnes of bushmeat is smuggled into Europe each year, one of the many issues driving our African projects. ZSL's project on evolutionary distinct and globally endangered species, EDGE, continued to champion uniquely wonderful animals. 2010 saw pygmy hippos and giant salamander conservation workshops and the discovery of a new species of elephant shrew. Edge biologists in Sri Lanka also snapped the first ever picture of a Horton Plain slender loris, seen only four times since 1937. Awards flooded into the Institute of Zoology, among them an appointment to the L'Oreal UK and Ireland Fellowship for Women in Science for Dr Natalie Petarelli and a Royal Society University Research Fellowship for Dr. Sam Turvey. And Karina Acevedo Whitehouse earned an Ig Nobel Prize for Engineering by ingeniously repurposing remote control helicopters to catch whale snot samples. <music> ZSL 
Zedicel's expertise continued to influence policymaking and conservation planning worldwide. 2010 was the International Year of Biodiversity. In October, a ZSL team attended the Convention on Biodiversity in Nagoya, Japan, to put forward practical solutions to halt biodiversity loss. We collaborated on a report showing that a widespread badger coal would not help reduce TB in cattle and hosted a vigorous debate on the topic at London Zoo. And our collaborative evolution loss project carried out the most comprehensive stock take ever of the world's vertebrates. Findings which suggest we could lose a quarter of all vertebrate species over the next century gave us even more reason to redouble our conservation efforts. We were already resolute in our cause, but if even more encouragement were needed, it came in the form of some beautiful zoo babies, an inspiration to visitors and a vital continuation of the conservation breeding programmes at the heart of our living collections. At Whipsnade, new births included five critically endangered cheetah cubs, the first to be born in the UK, wild borlets, a male elephant calf and a rockhopper penguin chick. And in the same week that a rhino calf was born at the zoo, conservationists celebrated the birth of another in Bardia National Park, Nepal. The first since Zedicel helped halt poaching there two years ago. In London there was a good haul too. Moustache Emperor Tamarin twins, a slender loris and naked mole rats. But perhaps our most anticipated new arrivals were in the Gorilla Kingdom. Majuku's baby, the first gorilla born at the zoo for 22 years, will soon be introduced to Kisho, silverback who arrived in August. Although a delicate business staff are doing everything possible to achieve an integrated gorilla group. So 2010 was an action-packed year, but if anything, 2011 looks set to be even busier and even more productive. At ZSL London Zoo, our new Penguin Beach exhibit will allow thousands more visitors to learn about our flightless flippered friends and Tiger SOS, an exciting new big cat fundraising campaign will launch. We will enter the new year with strong support we now have a record 60,000 ZSL members, including 2,200 fellows. Since the launch of our new patrons programme in June, we're delighted to welcome 15 new patrons, reaching an all-time high of 47. And ZSL staff and supporters are always keen to help with fundraising, swapping uniforms and office suits for shorts and trainers at races all over the place. The work ZSL does is as diverse and colourful as the animal kingdom it strives to protect. But what's true of all our projects is that they couldn't take place without your help and generosity. So thank you, and we hope you'll come with us on our mission next year and beyond. The challenge is immense, but it will be worth it. <laughs>